Hello and welcome to another Arkies video and to a new race A. We are doing a rally race this week in the small, mid-engine and rather twitchy Renault 5 Turbo. A really fun car and the first time I saw this was not in rally, it was on VHS tape back in the 80s when I saw the non-franchise James Bond movie Never Say Never Again for the first time. And that car really stuck in my mind ever since. So I am looking forward to do a race in this one. And it's a brilliant car for rallying. It really suits it. It can be a bit twitchy running on, uh, on asphalt, but um, this is fun. And uh, this is the first slot of the week. I'm starting from the back. Uh, we've got five laps, so I'm just taking it nice and easy. Don't want to make a mess of it from the very beginning. I'm having a look into the first left-hander, but I decide to back out again. And soon we will approach the first death trap corner of this track, because there's a bump on the outside and on the inside, on the apex. So as you can see, we've got a lot of cars getting that corner wrong and running off into the fence on the left-hand side. So I am gaining quite a lot of positions right from the start. I make it around the outside of the Spanish driver. He was being very clean, made room, made sure he didn't run into me. And uh, here I'm just trying to get a run, good run out of this uh, S corner section. And be careful, there's a nasty jump over this corner. And if you are turning too much, the car will go all twitchy and sideways. I don't think the German driver was aware that I was also on the inside. Uh, he made it around the outside of me on this scary corner. We'll get back to that later, but he hit the wall, so lost his momentum. And as we were coming up to the final corner, as I looked in the mirror, I saw him flying in. I was not sure if that was just a mistake or if he was in fact trying to use my rear of the car as a brake into the corner but never mind it might as well have been a mistake and we are jumping forward in the race i have caught up to p3 and p4 we've got chicken angel in p3 and uh, let's just get up the hill i think yeah chicken angel unfortunately runs wide on this corner it's easily done if you hit the wrong line and the rusting driver gets alongside. Let's just get through this corner. I'm going a bit too close to the inside where there is a nasty jump as well. So we have to be careful, but we are still in the race, trying to get a nice line through the S's. This is all about getting the car lined up for the final right turn coming out of this section and I think we do a decent job of it and maybe we can get past Chicken Angel at some point. I think as we are going up towards the final, not the final, but the, the very scary right hand corner might be able to make a move. Let's just be careful. Yeah. We are getting close to Chicken Angel now. He went a bit wide, getting close to the edge of the track there. And this is a getting <laughs> into a close battle. I think we are making our way around him. Yes, we are in P4 now, and we are once again jumping ahead a bit. We have just started lap four. We are coming through that scary downhill right-hander and the rusting driver has made a mistake and we sneak up the inside and just as we go through the corner i saw in the mirror chicken angel was flying in and he actually got the position from the russian driver as well and uh, we just try to carry on i think because i made a bit of a mess of these corners that chicken angel is getting a good run on me now but he is backing out again i think he might have been scared to push me off into the side of the track but i think it would have been cool he would have made that move 
But as we go through this nasty corner with the jump, we see that the uh, chicken angel unfortunately gets it wrong and uh, there's a bit of contact. But we are able to run away now for a bit. This is the final lap. I almost make the same mistake and now we've got a British driver behind me. He must have made his way through and he's catching me fast because I'm not really getting the most out of this final stretch of the track and I have to defend the final corner. He goes around the outside and he actually gets a good run on me but I just managed to secure the podium position. And before the final race of the video, let's just have a look at my best qualifying attempt so far. This was done between the two races, so I didn't have that much time, but it's the best I could do for now and uh, definitely room for improvement. Anyway, we are coming up towards the first really tricky corner. Had to stay to the left, but not too much because there's a nasty jump and don't go too close to the apex because there's also a nasty jump so just aim for the gravel part basically here i'm braking as the trees on the left approach the edge of the screen so i don't come in too hot um, just trying to find my way through the s's and get a good run out of this final right hander it's uh, okay for now still room for improvement make sure your car is pointing sort of straight once you're going over that jump and the jump is even nastier on the very inside of that corner so be careful as well there braking really early get the car turned so you don't jump sideways over that jump in the middle of the corner uh, that could really upset your car so just make sure you've got the car pointing the right direction at the final corner, I'm turning in a bit too early, so that gives me a not so great run out of the final corner, but we cross the line in a 31.4. And uh, I think I will get in the 30s when I get some more practice. We'll see. Anyway, this is the final race of the video. We've got the French driver who was in the previous race as well. He's got a fast time, so I'm just trying to keep up with him. I got a bit of a bad start, so I've got Chicken Angel. He had a good run on me. I made sure I didn't run wide, but he backed out and uh, just filtered in behind. Let's just make it through this first corner. As you can see, it's easy to upset the car, uh, both coming in and on the apex but uh, we are still in, keeping up with P1, with Chicken Angel right behind me. And here I think Chicken Angel got caught out by me. I might be breaking a bit earlier than him. So he, there was a bit of contact and he backed out completely. Unfortunately, he lost a lot of momentum doing that. So now it's uh, just up to me and the French driver in front of me. And uh, yeah almost got a bit scary coming over that jump he's he's fast i have to admit that so he is slowly but surely edging away from me just corner by corner and i'm doing my best to keep up we are coming towards the final bit of the first lap he have made a small mistake i think i was briefly catching up i might be turning in a bit too early there and uh, that's the end of this first lap and we are jumping a bit ahead in the race because I basically just had to catch up with him. We are about to start lap 4 now. And this was my lap 3 was my best lap in the race so far, but you can see he's doing 130 times ahead of me. So um, I've got some work to do, but as we are starting the final lap of the race some mistakes have been sneaking in on p1's behalf so i'm not that far away and i think we are getting closer um sort of got some lines wrong there or oh, anyway i'm still hanging in there just don't go too close to the edge of the track 
This is looking like I'm getting a decent run on him now. Even a purple sector. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but it would have been a stupid move trying to go up the inside there. I'm having a look on the outside, but I have to back out. This is all about, as already mentioned, getting a nice exit out of here. And he really gets a nice exit. I'm just trying to hang on. Maybe if I can take as much of his attention as possible, might sneak in another mistake. Let's have a look at this corner. Can we do it decently? Yeah, we did, but so did he. So he is still edging away. I cannot really catch him. We've got one corner to go. We are closing in once again, but he gets a good run out of the corner. I just have to accept the P2. He was the faster driver and I am not ashamed of finishing with a handbrake turn as it is a rally race. But that's all from me. I hope you'll all enjoy this race. It's a fun one and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.